guys, it's Pastor Tim here, lead pastor at City Church of the Treasure Coast. Thank you for joining me tonight for 7 on the 7, our nightly time of encouragement in God's Word, a nightly time to gather together, even though we can't physically be together, we can be together in a powerful way through the unity, the bond of peace, and the presence of God Almighty. Last time I was with you, I was talking about how we overcome by being in God's perfect timing. We overcome the enemy by being in God's perfect timing. And I left our time together talking about overcoming with the truth. Of course, we know that John chapter 8, verse 32 tells us so clearly, and you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. And in the verse before, Jesus is talking about being in the word of God, that the word of God brings that truth that brings life. And so here is Elijah. Let me set the stage for you. He's declared no rain on the land. For three and a half years, there's been no rain. God provided for him miraculously. His miraculous provision was pulled out from under him. He went through a time of preparation. He's now at the time of presentation, standing before that bad, bad king, King Ahab, baddest king in the whole doggone town. And here he is. He's come before him. And Ahab has called out lies. He has said to Elijah, you are the problem. You are the scourge. You are the virus on Israel. And so here comes Elijah to come back. And I can see these two men after three and a half years, mano y mano. You can, you can almost hear in the background, you know, <laughs> at the OK Corral, they're facing each other down. And what's going to happen? There's going to be a duel or, or a gunfight or, 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 you know, Elijah's kind of saying, you feeling lucky, king? You feeling lucky? And so here they are. They're facing each other. And we look at uh, 1 Kings 18, verse 19. It says this. Now summon the people from all over Israel to meet me on Mount Carmel. This is the duel. Uh, this is the mano y mano. And bring the 450 prophets of Baal, Elijah says here in 1 Kings 18, and the 400 prophets of Asherah, they've been worshiping the Asherah, putting up the Asherah poles, who eat at Jezebel's table. Now, I... I don't think Jezebel's people ended up showing up, but the Baal folks did. We can check, check that for me to see if they ever showed up. But here's what Elijah is saying to this evil, wicked, filled with lies king. He's saying this to King Ahab, bring it on. Bring it on. I am standing in the truth. Bring on your lies. Bring on your false gods. Don't just sing it, Ahab. Bring it and bring all the weapons you need and bring all the people you, you need. It's been three and a half years, but today is the day. Today is the day, Elijah says, that we're going to overcome the lies with the truth. We're going to overcome the deception with God's word. So let me remind you, church, write it down. I overcome by facing the enemy in God's timing, and then I overcome by facing the enemy with the truth, with God's word. We saw Jesus do that in the desert with the devil himself. Look at verse 20 of 1 Kings 18. So Ahab sent word throughout all Israel and assembled the prophets on Mount Carmel. And Ephesians 6.12 comes to mind here tonight. It says this, for our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Did you hear me tonight, church? Our struggle is not against flesh and blood. Our struggle is not down here. It is a spiritual battle that is going on. Elijah knew this. That's why he said, bring all that you need, because I'm not going to fight. I'm not going to fist fight you. I'm going to be fighting you with the truth, with the power of God's word. And I want to declare that that was Elijah's biggest weapon, and that is our biggest weapon. Listen, love is our weapon. We're not going out there to do damage to people. We're going out there to bring them to life, to let them know what love really is. And this big weapon was the truth, the word of God. It's the same for us today. Now, how does Elijah show this principle of standing on the truth, overcoming the lies with the truth? How does he do it? Let's look at verse 21. Elijah went before the people and said, how long will you waver between two opinions? If the Lord is God, follow him. But if Baal is God, follow him. And I'm reminded again of Joshua 24, 15. 
But if serving the Lord seems undesirable to you, the word says, then choose for yourselves this day whom you will serve, whether the gods of your ancestors and served beyond the Euphrates or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you are living. But as for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. I think I added or deleted one little word from there, but it'll come up on your screen, right? So this is what we're trying to do today. We're trying to choose during this time where we choose the truth of God's word, that God still loves us, that God still cares, that God has a plan, or we will we embrace the lies of this world and run to those lies? Will we try to serve God and money? Will we try to serve God and still have our fears? Will we try to serve God during this time and still have our sinful habits? Will we try to serve God and still hold on to all of those things that have dragged us down. Listen, today is the day to choose, to choose the truth. We overcome with God's perfect timing, the enemy, and we overcome by being in the truth, by being in the word of God, by being in the word of God. We can't serve God and idols. We can't work God's plan and our plan. We've got to choose God's plan tonight. How do we find it? By being in the word of God. Now, Psalm 16 verse one tells us what I believe is our prayer right now. It says, keep me safe, O God, for in you I take refuge. We're going to have a time of refuge, a time of prayer, a time of letting that rock that is our fortress, that shield that protects us, the God who loves us so much that he gave his life. We're going to run to him in prayer and, and be safe and take refuge tonight. Will you stretch out your hand wherever you're at as we pray to close out our seven on the seven in our time together? Lord, tonight, help us to know the truth, to know you and have you set us free. Uh, sanctify us and clean us up, Lord, by your truth so that we can be clean and presented so we can make the presentation you need us to, Lord, to those that need it the most, Lord. And tonight, God, we pray that we would find safety, healing, and refuge in the shadow of your wings. Lord, that we'd really run to your presence, not just a popcorn 30-second prayer, but that we would really run and dive into and seek to be right there with you in your presence during this time. And our families too, Lord. Heal families tonight, God. I pray for couples that are getting ready to divorce or to break up, Lord. I pray you bring healing, reconciliation, and restoration tonight as they turn to you, as they base their life on your truth, Lord, that you would heal them and put them back together piece by piece as only you can. And I pray for those that are scared tonight, Lord, that your peace would flow in and they would know there is safety in you, Lord Jesus. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me tonight for seven on the seven. I want to ask you to do something for me real quick. Will you go over to citychurchtreasurecoast.com and give a financial gift so we can continue as a church to feed our community, uh, to reach the spiritual goals that they have and to show Jesus to them, to share the gospel in a tangible, real way, we can only do it with your help. And so if this show is blessing you, I'm going to ask you to go to citychurchtreasurecoast.com, give a gift of $20, $50 or more, uh, and you will not believe how many of you have been faithful to do that and how many lives have been touched because of it. Thank you in advance for your giving tonight. Now, I want you to know this. We are looking forward to the day when we get back together, when all this is behind us, when a time of rejoicing and victory is going to happen. We declare it. We believe it. We love you. We're looking out for you. Say hey to us. Send us an email. PT at citychurchtreasurecoast.com. We love you so much, but guess what? God loves you even more. God bless you. Thanks for being with us tonight.